Welcome to my video about the 2017 gun ban, which is all about this piece of legislation that was recently introduced to the Washington State Legislature. It's known as SB 5050 or HR 1134, and it's informally known as the Assault Weapons Ban of 2017. Basically, well, that's what I'm going to call it, the Assault Weapons Ban of 2017 in the state of Washington. So this title of this video probably got your attention because you're what because you're thinking Donald Trump is president. There can't be any more assault weapons ban, and that is true on the federal level. But that does not the ca the case for state level governments. For example, you can look at the state of Washington. And you can look at the state of New York. They all have these huge blanket assault weapons bans as well as magazine capacity bans. So you have to keep you have to be on the lookout for your state legislature and making sure that your local state government doesn't want to prohibit your right to bear arms. So right here I have the bill known as SB 5050 and I'm just going to read off the part that they're changing which is basically redefining what the term assault weapon means. If you guys want to read along with me I'll post this document down in the description box below and if you want to skip ahead to where I actually talk about interpreting the text and what this actually means you can skip ahead to this number right here which will be floating around in a little title thing. So let's just get straight into this. I might have a few hiccups every here and there. I might decide to edit them out. I might not because I don't want to listen to this whole thing but we'll see. So, 27, assault weapon means a semi-automatic rifle that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine and has one or more of the following. One, a, a pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the weapon. Two, a thumbhole stock. Three, a folding or telescoping stock. Four, a second hand grip or protruding grip that can be held by the non-trigger hand. Five, a flash suppressor, muzzle brake, muzzle compensator, or threaded barrel designed to accommodate a flash suppressor, muzzle brake, or muzzle compensator. Six, a grenade launcher or flare launcher. Section B, a semi-automatic pistol or a semi-automatic centerfire or rimfire rifle with a fixed magazine that has the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds of ammunition. Flipping this page. It's pretty hefty text. C, a semi-automatic pistol that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine and has one or more of the following. One, any feature capable of functioning as a protruding grip that can be held by the non-trigger hand. Two, a threaded barrel capable of accepting a flash suppressor, forward hand grip, or silencer. Three, a shroud attached to the barrel that partially or completely encircles the barrel, allowing the bearer to hold the firearm with the non-trigger hand without being burned, but excluding a slide that encloses the barrel. Four, the capacity to accept a detachable magazine at any location outside of the pistol grip. D, a semi-automatic centerfire or rimfire rifle that has an overall length of less than 30 inches. E, a semi-automatic shotgun that has both of the following. One, a pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the, of the weapon, thumbhole stock, or vertical hand grip. Two, a folding or telescoping stock. Three, an ability to accept detachable magazines. F, F point F. A shotgun with a revolving cylinder or G, a conversion kit part or combination of parts from which an assault weapon can be assembled if those parts are in the possession or under control of the same person. Assault weapon does not include antique firearms, any firearm that has made permanently inoperable, or, or any firearm that is manually operated by bolt, pump, lever, or slide action. 28. Detachable magazine. This refers to the magazine ban. Detachable magazine means an ammunition feeding device that can be loaded or unloaded while detached from a firearm readily and readily inserted into a firearm. 29. Large capacity means an ammunition feeding device with the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds of ammunition or any conversion kit or combination of parts from which such a device can be assembled if those parts are not in the possession or under the control of the same person, but shall not be construed to include any of the following. A. Ammunition feeding device that has been permanently altered so it cannot accommodate more than 10 rounds of ammunition. B. A 22 caliber tube ammunition, tube ammunition feeding device. Or C. A tubular magazine that is contained in a lever action firearm. So what does this mean? Basically, this is completely redefining the term assault weapon and basically making it to the point where the closest legal thing you can own to an assault weapon is probably going to be an SKS because it features that fixed 10 round box internal box magazine which is not which is covered in part B basically because it has a fixed magazine and it and it can only take 10 rounds it's not considered an assault weapon so basically if you want to so if this passes the closest thing to an assault weapon the closest thing to what we have nowadays is going to be an SKS and the last time I checked those things were designed in 1943 and they're kind of obsolete 
or you can either have that, an SKS, or you can have a completely neutered AR-15, which is either done by having it as a fixed 10 round box magazine, internal box magazine, that's fixed into place, that you can't remove, and then which you can have a cool flash hider, the pistol grip, adjustable stock, all those cool doodads. Or you can have basically none of the cool features we have right now, such as flash hiders, pistol grips, adjustable stocks, folding stocks, flat muzzle brakes, all the cool things that we're used to now, and you won't be able to have any of those. So basically what I'm reading from this text is all of our guns are going to behave similarly to an SKS where they really can't do anything that much, or an SKS with a Tapco stock so we can at least fold it and <laughs> collapse it in. <laughs> but you know what? If this passes, I guess everyone might as well have an SKS because that's really what all these fancy AR-15s are going to be neutered down into. But this is the gift that keeps on giving because it also defines a semi-automatic pistol that can accept a removable magazine as assault weapon if it can have a, if it has a threaded barrel, a, basically a hand stop, a hand guard you can hold on to. Basically what this is trying to cover are those AR-15 pistols because when you read a threaded barrel it's capable of accepting a flash suppressor, forward hand grip, or a silencer. Yeah, I guess some handguns like a Glock 17 with a with an extended with a threaded barrel can do that. But once you go on to the part where it talks about a shroud that completely encircles the barrel, that starts look reminding me of an AR-15. Because at first I thought, what type of pistol has a shroud that goes over the pistol unless it's like integrally suppressed? Even then, that gets really hot. And I was just thinking about it, and then I saw, looked up, and I saw my 300 blackout pistols. Like, oh, that's what they meant. Basically, what they were trying to do is cover the grounds with AR pistols. And if that didn't make it clear with the shroud, they mentioned it in section four: the capacity to accept a detachable magazine at any location outside of the pistol grip. So what this means is, you know, you have those AR-15 pistols outside of the pistol grip. What else is there? Man, man, man. CZ, the CZ Scorpion, the SIG MPX, the 9mm one. So all those guns are going to be covered in the assault weapons ban. As, I mean, some of, some people might expect them to because they think assault weapons ban, 30 round magazine, yada, 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 bam. So none of your pistol with braces are going to get away from this bill either. And as you guys can see, it defines a large capacity magazine, large capacity magazine. I, I guess it's better than high capacity magazine, but large capacity, mag it's, it's pretty much the same. And it says large capacity magazines are basically magazines that can accept more than 10 rounds. And it's going to try, and this bill is going to try to ban those also. So right here I have this SGM Tactical 50 round Glock magazine fully loaded up because I'm testing out the spring on here and see if it still holds its retention all good after a few weeks making sure it's good good to go about already yeah, dropped it dropped my piece of paper so yeah you know what this is gonna be a really interesting year especially for the state of Washington so what they're trying to do is they're trying to pass this assault weapons ban as well as the high capacity magazine ban so if you guys live in the state of Washington and you guys are a huge gun advocate, if you guys are a firearms fan, if you guys love guns, make sure you, you email your local legislators and let them know that you're not for this assault weapons ban. And if you can, donate to all those pro-gun organizations in the state of Washington. People living in other states won't be able to do anything about it. So we have to take action and we need to stand for what we believe is right in the state of Washington as Washington residents to make sure that this bill does not pass. So that's it for my video about the 2017 gun ban in the state of Washington. And if you guys clicked on this thinking it was going to be in the whole United States at a federal level, sorry, I kind of clickbait you, but I also raised awareness about potential state level gun bans. So you know what, just weigh them out before you dislike this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you go down there, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you guys didn't like this video, either you're a pro gun ban or you don't really like my face that much.